All right, everybody, I want to start on time because I want to respect that we've got uh, the night ahead of us. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming. Um, happy to pick an odd week not only to take the test, those of you who haven't heard already, these uh, these troopers are here above and beyond the call of duty as they should have had their final a couple weeks ago. So definitely taking that into consideration as part of the final grade. I want to tell you a little bit about what we're doing here. and I'm scanning where the X is. So for those of you who are giving a presentation, you have a, a wireless clicker, you'll have this here. If you're not, don't worry about it. Um, so we started something in this class on an entrepreneurial footing in that the class was pitched to a, a previous dean and to this dean before it was finally accepted. So even the class, the approach of it was entrepreneurial. Uh, and the idea was, why do we study how small businesses work? How, how do you start a small business? How does any of that work? Um, and we did this through a mixture of three different, let's say, learning mediums. One was a series of books. So I um, thought I'd bring them up as props. One, the e uh, Michael Gerber's sort of famous um, work on how to systematize even your very small business. The other was uh, Made to Stick by, um, by Chip and Dan Heath, uh, brothers uh, who were also teachers, on how ideas stay in your consciousness, whether it's business or otherwise. And then Small Giants, what a lot of students discovered was sort of the counter argument to the e-myth that sometimes a company has its own mojo even though there's not a specific system uh, in place or a way to replace the founder. So they read this in concert with um, watching some uh, case studies. There was a show called Startup Junkies, which they watched the entire series of. They also watched some episodes from ABC Shark Tank, which some of you may know or not know, uh, where uh, potential entrepreneurs or ongoing entrepreneurs pitch their ideas for venture capital. And thirdly, so they read, they watched, and they listened. We had some guest speakers. Uh, two of them are with us tonight. Uh, the rest are on spring break, like a lot of you are. <laughs> Um, I want to recognize them. Bucky Brooks from Copenhagen Brooks was our last speaker. David Svett from Spur Communications was one of our earliest speakers. Um, we also had Mike Lampton from Mission Critical Supplies. He's flying back in today, so he might join us a little later. Daniel O'Neill from The Rose Street. Sean Kincaid from Aspire, Kansas City. And Brad Elvers from Big Guy Little Guy Promotions. So we had all sorts of business owners come and speak to the students about what their story was entrepreneurially, where their business is now, and where they want to be. And lots of things were learned in these. And I recited these facts back to the students in their last class. They had read over 600 pages of text, they watched over 10 hours of case studies, and they've had 20 hours of discussion, both in class and on WebCT. And what you're gonna to see tonight is hopefully a gathering together of all of those conversations and thoughts and ideas into presenting a business idea. Some in this class have always been interested in being business owners. Some were on the fence and some came into class first night told me I have no interest in being a small business owner, but I want to understand how small business thinks and what a great idea to take the class. Um, so when you're hearing these stories tonight and, and these business ideas, just keep that in context that this isn't a fully fleshed out, complete business plan idea. It's, it's something right before that. So there will be a chance for both the panelists and the audience to ask questions about the product but we're going to try to keep everything around 15 minutes tops. I will indicate to you in five minute increments by raising my hand slightly, and so you'll know five minutes have passed, <coughs> 10 minutes have passed, and when I raise my hand the third time, it's time for you to, to wrap it up and we'll move on. And I'll try to take a break at the top of the hour for people to exit, to grab food, to stretch a little bit. Any questions about anything that we're going to do tonight? Okay, so who is our first speaker? Are you ready to go? Come on up. 